today I'm out here with my good friend Tom Schlichter, managing editor of the Fishman Magazine. We're going for tog fish today, and we're doing pretty good. We're getting a couple. We have them up to about eight pounds so far. Pretty good action. Wind and tide are going against each other. A little tough to stay on a piece, but we keep moving back and forth, getting us on it. Every time we get on the piece, it's lock and load action. So what we have here right now is your basic white crab. White crabs live in the ocean, so it's probably one of the better baits for fishing out here because the blackfish, you know, obviously know what it is, swimming around there, crawling around their wrecks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut these legs off, cut these other legs off. And now these are shedders. So a little trick here is this outer perimeter, we're gonna cut it. Just don't cut your fingers while you're doing this. And gently, you're gonna lift and pull. And what you'll find underneath is a nice soft shell crab right there. Irresistible for the blackfish. I like to leave the top on. I believe it has a lot of scent in it. So then what I'll do is go to the hind legs, the rear legs, put one through like that hook. Then you take the other hook to your snafu rig, put it like this, and then take your weight, just give it a couple of shots. This way when you shake the rod, it makes like that chum that we uh, talk about all the time. So now I'm gonna take that. It's all rigged and ready without hurting anybody. This is actually an eight foot rod. I like to use longer rods, just get around better, move, move the baits, get a better swing. <clears throat> and drop it down. As soon as it hits bottom, I'll give it a couple snaps. Right now that just broke apart that whole crab and just wait a few minutes. And there's a hit already, I already have a hit. Feels like a little bit better. This one might make keeper size, or I might have two on here. Might have a double header. On your snafu rig? On the snafu, yep. Double header snafu rig tog. And what did I say? You called it. Look double at that. <laughs> double header of togs. What happened to see is that the first one bit it, split it in half, mm -hmm. and then the other one came. And that is a twin, if you ask me. <laughs> Identical <laughs> fish. <laughs> it's great colors on those fish right yep. now. You know, nice markings. Yep. And they're fighting really good. The water cools down. When I put my hook out there, this is a the must have tool on the boat of these things. It releases the fish better. You're not really touching their slime. You know, you never even have to handle the fish at all. Yep. It was crazy here. There he is. All right. Nice. Shallow guy. I love blackfish. Look at how tough those lips are on this thing. Like the bottom of a running shoe, so stiff. That's why you need to have um, really sharp hooks so that it'll penetrate those tough lips. So Tom, you like using the Gamagatsu hooks? I do like the Gamagatsus. I use Virginias too, but if I got them available, I'll use them. All right, let me just put a new bait on here. Sorry, that's okay. There you All go. All right, there you go, buddy. <laughs> that's a good one. The dog of this one. There you go. He's a nice keeper. Yeah. I don't know how good he's hooked, but let me see. We'll just lift him up. He looks like he's hooked good. Just watch it back there, Tom. That's a nice keeper. Beauty, huh? Probably maybe three pounder, maybe. Yeah. Good white chin there. Yep. And one thing I want to tell you, everyone can tell you how to catch the blackfish, but you need to know these big guys, you want to put them back. This blackfish I'm holding right here at about six or seven pounds, it's probably close to 10 years old. You want to get right off the hook as quick as you can, back in the water. You don't have to keep every fish that's big enough to keep. The smaller ones sometimes taste better. Have a great day.